The four factors that affect the behavior of gases, temperature, pressure, volume, and the number of gas particles. In 1662, Robert Boyle studied the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas at a constant temperature. He observed that if you increase the pressure on a gas, the volume it occupies will decrease. And, if you decrease the pressure, the volume will increase. According to the Boyle's law, the volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure as long as temperature remains constant. Mathematically it can be written as V is inversely proportional to P while temperature T becomes constant. To change the proportionality sign into an equal sign, we need to add a constant which we'll call K. This equation can also be written as PV is equal to K. K is a proportionality constant. The value of K is same for same amount of a given gas. Therefore Boyle's law can be stated as product of pressure and volume of a fixed mass of a gas is constant at constant temperature. Let me explain Boyle's law by experiment. Consider one mole of a gas enclosed in a cylinder with a movable piston. Suppose temperature of gas is 30 degrees Celsius. When we apply a pressure of two atmospheres, the volume of the gas is one cubic decimeter. But when we increase the pressure to four atmospheres, the volume decreases to 0.5 dm cube. This experiment clearly shows that as pressure increases, the volume of the gas decreases. When we calculate the product of pressure and volume, for this experiment, the product of all these experiments is constant. It proves the Boyle's law. As both equations have same constant therefore, their variables are equal to each other. Also we can write as, P1V1 is equal to P2V2. This equation establishes, relationship between pressure and volume of the gas. Let me teach you, a common application of Boyle's law. Boyle's law helps us to understand, how changes in volume and pressure in our lungs, during inhalation and exhalation. When we inhale, lungs expand, that increases the volume of our chest cavity, that decreases the pressure, causing air to rush into the lungs. On the other hand, during exhalation lungs contract, that decreases the volume of our chest cavity. That results increase in pressure inside the lungs, forcing air out. So according to Boyle's law, when volume increases, the pressure decreases, and when there is a decrease in volume, pressure increases. Let me teach you the graphical representation of Boyle's law. Let's set up our graph. On the x-axis, we have pressure. And on the y-axis, we have volume. Imagine we have gas in a closed container with a movable piston. Let's our initial volume is 15 centimeter cube and the pressure is 1 atmosphere. Our first coordinate is 1, 15. So here's what it looks like on the graph. Now, I'm going to push down the piston which decreases the volume to 7.5 cm3. As we do this, the pressure increases to 2 atmospheres. Our new coordinate is 2, 7.5. On graph this point shows the new coordinates. If I push down even more, until the volume reaches 5 cm3, and the pressure jumps to 3 atmospheres. So we get our final coordinate 3,5. When we connect all these points, we see a downward curve. This is Boyle's law, showing that as volume decreases, pressure increases. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for, more content like this.